Chat, what's up, YouTube? Need a podcast, episode 146, 146, 146, 146. Dime, big dime, big nickel, big dime, 146. We finally made it to episode 146, and people don't even really run 146 anymore. Isn't it sad? I thought this would be like a special episode, 146, but we do not run 146 anymore. It's rough. It's rough, really. The 140, we made it. We made it. We did put out the YouTube. You guys checking in, all the YouTubers. Hit something in the comments for us. If you're watching all these needed podcasts or YouTube, appreciate you guys. 245 is the next special. 335. 335. Once we get to the needed podcast, episode 335 is going to be an insane. That's going to be a different one. I'll tell you guys that right now, right here, right now, as they say in the streets, right here, right now. What's up, boys? I'll put my pretty lights on. Oh, did you really do so? Did you watch Henry's stream? Did you? Did you tickle his nuts while he was running it? Did you really? Did you say how good he was? Wow, you're so amazing. Tell us more about your experience. Tell us more. Seahawks, eight months. Let's get it. Tell us more. We would like to know more. Us in the chat. Rob, what's up, buddy? I'm good. I'm good as gold. Uh, I, dude, I, I want to say I went away, but I spent so much time driving to Philly uh stayed with my mother and saw my father and things like that everything was good everything was good you know what i'm saying the eagles got popped but we this is only philly people could be this right this is why i hate the older i get the more i'm i'm becoming like that old old guy that sits on the stoop and just cusses at everybody Eagles fans, this is how the Eagles fans work, right? Damn, this is how Eagles fans work like this. Yo, it's a rebuilding year. I don't really care what happens. I'm just evaluating the team, right? This is how, this is how, this is how everybody said it. Then, a couple games in, fire everybody. This sucks. Hurts is not it. Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, What? Bro, everybody relax. Take a deep breath. Bro, like, shut up. Dudes be ready to cry. Yo, it's like... Yo, everybody just shut up. They took Cole out already. I am watching the Yankees Red Sox. One of the downside of streaming at nighttime is sometimes you run into these uh, problems where it's a good sporting event on and you say, you know, I want to watch it, but we got, we keep the podcast rocking. My man Dollar gets paid going into his fifth month of my sub that I paid for him. A lot of subs going on. My man Seahawks gifting some more. He's over 1,100 total gifted. He's a lord. Goon Platoon is in the building. Oh, we've been blessed with Goon Platoon's presence in the building. Let's get it, boys. No, it's like, well, first of all, Prevalent Loan, the Lions have been irrelevant for your entire life. Like, I'll be honest, the Eagles only had a couple bad, bad seasons in my whole 34 years of life. Jalen Smith had fallen off. I am surprised by that. And honestly, I would love the Eagles to take a look at Mr. Jalen Smith. I really would. He's been kind of ass. Now, Eagles fan, now Cowboys fans, check in. Jalen Smith has been kind of ass. I don't know, brother. No, I didn't go to the game. I spent time with my, my mom and my dad. I only had two days. I felt like when you go to a game, that takes like eight hours of your day, and you can't really do nothing else. It wasn't worth it, really. But uh, yeah. Now we will talk about we will talk about theme teams. We will in a minute. All right, relax, dust, dust, relax, relax, relax. My man Nazgul, the legend, with four months. Let's go, man. No, I, I I'm not that. Hype to see, to, I don't know. 
I don't know how to explain it. Yeah, the Eagles beat. There you go. The Eagles beat Brady in the Super Bowl. That's that's pretty strong. But I'm just like mad at just everybody's just. It's such a microwave society. Like Peyton Manning. If pay you think about Peyton Manning's rookie year, if he if Peyton Manning had his rookie year in this era with social media and shit, oh my god. How many interceptions did Peyton Manning throw in his rookie year? It was 30 plus, I want to say. It was 30 plus, I want to say, boys. Was it 28? Peyton Manning threw 28. Dude, just think about if there was like Twitter and social media back then, like, dude. And this is how I feel about Jalen Hurts, right? The benefit of him being good and, like, being good enough is insane because you don't have to worry about quarterback. The Eagles will have three picks in, like, the top 15. Dottie, what's up? And the top 15 next year in the top 15, the Eagles are going to have – they're going to have the – they have the Dolphins pick. Dolphins are going to finish where, chat? Bottom 10. Eagles have the Dolphins first-round pick. And they have the Colts first round pick if Carson plays 75% of the snaps. If not, it becomes a second round pick. So Carson has played, I want to say, 100% of the snaps in four games. So we'll see. So they could have three top 15 picks. Honestly, they could. Um, so looking strong. Honestly, that's, that's pretty solid. That's pretty solid, boys. So... You know, I mean, so the benefit of the Dolphins are mid, the Dolphins are Basuda. And I didn't realize that the Dolphins took Tua over Herbert. Our boy Herbert could have been a Dolphin. We at Hype Chain Level 5, boys. We are cracked. We are cracked, boys. Let's get it. Now... I heard the quarterback draft class was weak. That's what I heard. But if you have Jalen Hurts, then you don't got to worry about quarterback. You know, you can get three straight defensive picks in the top 15, you know. I heard there's no quarterbacks this year. There'll be somebody. It wasn't what you would call it, uh, Rattler. Yeah, that's the guy, Spencer Rattler. That's an ugly dude, isn't it? You never like, you never really judge dudes unless they're really ugly, right? Rattler's an ugly dude. My man, Gamer Mac reached level 37, but didn't get your power up pass. That's unfortunate, buddy. It's unfortunate. What you can do is check your spam folder. They also often. Have directions to get your power up pass. Yeah. I'm not a real big college guy, but with the Eagles having these three picks, boys, with the Eagles having these three picks, I might have to get on my college stuff. Right, boys? Alabama has to have, like, three defensive players to get right. Alabama has to have a corner, a linebacker, and, like, a D lineman, right? Have to. It's impossible for Alabama not to. I will tell you, Penn State got a crazy wide receiver. I think his name is Dotson or Dobbs. Dot, bro, this dude is cracked. And obviously, Ohio State got Alave. Alave is cracked too. Who else is cracked in the top 10? Georgia defense? Okay, okay, okay. I keep my eyes on I mean, I want like I want like Devin White. I want somebody like that. I'm I'm talking about the we're talking about the draft right now. Thibodeau. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. With the NFL, right? My man the Seahawk with another five gifted. I'll be honest with y'all boys. Yo, these little the NFC West is cracked. Yo, like, it's cracked. Like, the Niners, Earl is not here, so we can say the Niners are a good team. 
But they're shit compared to those other three teams, right? And the Niners are, like, good. But the other teams make them look ass. And then you had to, like, honestly, bro, like, Between the NFC West and then you have the Bucks and then you have Aaron Rodgers. It's like the NFC kind of hot up right now, boys. The NFC is kind of up crazy, is it not? The NFC is up. And then, uh, and then what you call it? Then the AFC is. I mean, you just is the AFC West really? Um, the rest of the AFC is, I guess Lamar, I, I guess, I guess the Bengals look, you know, the Bengals look solid. Not, they're not good enough though yet, but next year the Bengals could be really good, right? Like this is the year where the Bengals look like their ship is going in the right direction, right? They were loading up the ship and now it looks like, okay, damn, this bitch going in the right direction, right? And that, and I feel like that's how the the Browns were last year. Now this is the year for when the Browns, you know, make the playoffs and go crazy. Uh, and then Lamar is still there. So the AFC is the what? Like my point being, my point being is I'm a delusional Eagles fan, right? If the Super Bowl was the NFC East, winnable. But I mean the NFC East. The Cowboys are like the Cowboys are like not top fifteen team really. It's just too many good teams, man. My oh, man Spence go ahead with the prime. Here go Connor. Here goes Connor. What Connor? Can we really be real about the Cowboys? The Cowboys are top five. Y'all don't believe that, bro. Cowboys are top five team. What in in the AFC or in the NFC? I said top fifteen. What are we talking about? Here go Rob too. Here go Rob nasty ass. Rob and Connor. Where the other Cowboys fans are? Y'all got some. They're not top five. No, they're not. They're not. Cardinals. Who you got? Cardinals. Cowboys. Go. So y'all like the Cowboys over the Cardinals. All right. Do y'all like the Cardinals over the Rams? Do y'all like the Cowboys or the Rams? Cowboys or the Rams, who y'all like? Y'all don't like them over the Rams. The Rams had a down week, but they played the Cardinals. Like, the Rams had a down The Rams are cracked. All right. Are y'all going Cowboys or are you going Russell Wilson and the boys? Are y'all going Russell Wilson or you going Cowboys? Here we go. I'm just saying. Let's, uh, let's I'm, I'm just trying to be honest here. Now I'll be real with y'all. I'll take the Cowboys over the Niners. I'll do that. I would do that. I would do that. I'll take the Cowboys over the Niners. I'll give y'all Cowboys over the Niners. I will. Bucks, you gotta take the Bucks over the Cowboys, right? They already beat them. Right? You gotta take the Bucks, right? Here's a tough one, though, here, boys. Here's a tough one. Packers, Cowboys. A-Rod, Pat, or the Cowboys. Who are you guys picking on that one? I'm just going, we're starting NFC. We're starting NFC. We're starting NFC. Because we said NFC. All right, well, this is how I feel about the NFC. If you're high on the Cowboys, they're top five. If, if you want to hate a little bit, they're like 7-8. You know what I'm saying? Rodgers does shit on the Cowboys. That's just NFC. AFC, I don't even want to talk AFC. Cowboys get too crazy, man.
KC is in top five. KC defense is ass, bro. This dude, this dude Jalen Hurts was like perfect versus them fuckers, bro. For real, for real. Washington is ass. Sparks, the Bucks have to be better than the Cowboys. I don't, on anybody's list, let's not. Sparks, you're getting carried away. The Bucks have to be locked better. Diggs is balling. Now, what makes me mad is that Jalen Hurts was ass, and they think that Diggs covered Devontae Smith well when Devontae Smith was frying his shit. You know what I'm saying? That's that's what kind of me mad. Now I will give y'all Diggs is going Diggs is cracked. He's playing great ball. But Devontae Smith was frying his shit. We can get we can get to the game film and break it down, boys. Jalen Hurts is frying, but he wasn't good. He wasn't good versus the Cowboys. He was bad. No, he fried him, Connor. He fried him. I did Connor. He fried him. He beat him in zone. Jesus. Diggs, because I'll be honest, isn't this Doug Diggs' second year, really? I'm, I don't know if I can play the All-22. I don't know how NFL works on Twitch. I really don't know. I'm not even going to play with it. Smith is tough. I will tell you that. Devontae Smith is tough. Yeah, trade Diggs' spec- his second year, and he was kind of ass last year, for real, for real. Matty Ice gives Connor, but I want to ban Matty Ice so bad. Diggs was ass last year. He's still ass. Parsons ass. Y'all just be... The problem with y'all is y'all be dick sucking so much that it just makes me want to just hate on them dudes, bro. Does anybody else feel that way? I feel like this is all sports debates. One side is just dick sucking crazy and the other side is hating crazy. Right? And you pretty much pick what side you like Depending on which which side is more annoying. Like, exactly. Falcons, I feel like LeBron is the same talk. Like, dude, all right, these dudes are dick sucking too much. I got to hate now. Oh, they hating too crazy. Like, Lamar. I feel like people hate Lamar so much that I started sucking dick. That's just, I hopped on that side, right? I said, I'm going on this side. Got to get in where you fit in. Either you're hating or you're sucking, one or the other. I told y'all Devontae is tough. None of y'all gonna say he's not tough. Did I say he the best? This is what this is the difference between me and y'all. I tell y'all Devontae is tough, right? I don't think anybody would disagree with that. These dudes say Michael Parsons, defensive player of the year and rookie player of the year in the in the same year, first time ever. Don't they say that? Hall of Famer. Don't they go like too far? For real. They be old then. Diggs, Diggs, oh my God. They be old then. They be do they be old then. They be old then, bro. They be old then. I don't OD. I don't I don't get down on the knees. Y'all the Cowboys fans be on the knees. Cowboys fans be face down in the pillow. That's where the Cowboys fans be. I'll just be regular degular for real for real. Eagles Twitter is the dumbest place on earth. Did you ever look around at your fan base and say, My fans are stupid? Do y'all not do you ever do that seriously? Let's just take a step backwards. Do you ever look, whether you're a Cowboys fan, whatever fan you are, boys, do you ever look around at your fan base and be like, yo, y'all are fucking stupid? No, for real. I tend to find myself doing this fairly often with the Eagles fans. The Eagles fans are like, dude. The one thing that makes me mad, right? 
They expect the Eagles to have 7,000 plays on offense. That I swear to God, they think the Eagles should have 1,000 plays on offense. Dude, the Eagles played – I don't. they didn't play a perfect offensive game, but they were really, really good on offense. Jalen Hurts was really good. Now everybody's – Kansas City's defense is going to suck. Yes, no doubt about it. That doesn't change the fact that you go in there and you pummel them, and that's what Jalen Hurts and them did. Every play call they put out there worked. Every single play worked. It's still dudes bitching about Miles Sanders. Miles Sanders don't get the ball enough. Dude, the quarterback got like 400 yards. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> Smith got 10 catches. The tight ends each got six catches. Rager touched the ball. Sanders, Gainwell, they all touched the ball. But no, man. Like, bro, it's like. Sanders is not. Sanders is, bro, he is the most overrated eagle of all time. I'll be honest with you. They think this man is Barry Sanders. Is he a good player? Absolutely. Is he special? Absolutely fucking not. He's a good player, but he's not like, he's not like a feed. Oh, you need to feed him. It'll be great. Establishing the run is a big deal in real life. I mean, Sanders is good, but he's not, he's not LaShawn McCoy or Brian Westbrook, man. He's just not sorry. He's not special. All right. Let's talk about Madden. We're talking about football. Who played in Battle 5? Who played this weekend? Who did? Anybody in the chat, did any of you guys play in the Battle 5? October, Thanksgiving. No, first of all, don't disrespect Sproles. Sproles, nobody is a budge of Sproles. Sproles was goddamn unreal. Sproles is a Hall of Famer. Be honest, I will die on that hill. That dude Sproles was insane. All right, nobody's as good as Sproles. Maybe this dude Gainwell. This dude Gainwell looks tough. I'll be honest. Gainwell looks tough. I'm like, okay, this dude is actually kind of cracked, dude. Gain Gainwell, but Sproles, the way he caught the ball, he was so short-handed. The way he ran routes, got open, like dude was tough. Period. Ladders had me switching left and right, Shouse. Okay, I mean, that's not what you want to do in the middle of the ladders, but, you know. I'm glad you got... Is anybody going to quit? That's my question. Now, I didn't play this weekend. Like I said, I was on vacation, so I'm going to play the next two weekends heavy. Is anybody going to quit? Did anybody play in the ladders and I'm going to quit? I don't want to play anymore. That's what I want to know. And that's cool. I understand. Sometimes you get into some shit and you be like, damn, it's a little too much. One time we played pickup football, right? You ever just go play football? Like, I'm talking like football. Like, how, what do you, what rules did y'all play? Like, was your boys? Like, say you got like 30 people. I'm not talking like five on five, like in the street. We did that every night. I'm talking like you got 30, 30 fucking dudes. What rules did y'all play? Did y'all play like like two O linemen, three O linemen, or did y'all go all out eleven on eleven, five O linemen, the only five eligible receivers? Like, what did y'all do? Okay. See, Alan, that's your thing. Every race can play football, but I'll be honest. There's only two races that really play football. You know what I'm saying? I I, I don't know, Alan. All right, you know what I'm saying? It's really Ed, Eduardo, 15 on 15, D. Blake. What type of nasty shit were you doing? 15 on 15? Holy shit. <laughs> Yo, what? All right. But we would normally play like the other crew in the, in, in like the other crew in like the neighborhood or the school that, but we would play like 
it would get to the point where we would really have four, five old linemen and shit. Like real, like old linemen. Like you got to block and like real. We would play like football. Like fuck. Like why not, right? Like you really had to snap that bitch. But we're not like football. Like you know, nobody's a fucking center or guard or no. Nobody knows how to do that shit. They're just out there. And at the times you hide, you hide your shittiest player at guard, right? You hide your shittiest player. Like yo, let's go ahead. Yeah, like normally if we were playing in the street. It was two different things. Like the street, you would play like the seven on seven type of shit. Exactly. That's what we do all the time. Like every night we'd play that. But then on the weekend, we would challenge the other people. Like, yeah, let's play football. I wouldn't, I, I wound up pretty much playing every position. Like I would start at like center or left tackle or, or tight end. And I felt like nobody could, cause I was like the best, I wasn't the best player. But I was the I was like the Swiss Army knife, you know, the white guy could I could block I could like catch a little hitch I could throw, you know what I'm saying? I could do it all. But by the end of the night I was playing quarterback because nobody else, cause yeah I was like use check I was really use check for real, I was use check for real. that's how you know what I'm saying. No, there was no all-time quarterback because we played the other the other squad. Like they had their own team ready. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So, but anyway, I'll tell you the story about one time. There was this big park. Like you know, you you know you got different parks in your neighborhood, right? Like you got a bullshit park. You might go play catching. Then you got like a medium park that might have like a baseball field. But then you got the real park, right? You know what I'm saying? The real park. One time we took our squad to the real park. All we wanted to do, my man PTA, 16 months, locked down with the gifted. No. We wanted to play the other squad in the neighborhood, like other people our age. But we played... The team we played, bro, they was doing huddles and shit. Bro, they was in I formation. Our formation was stand the fuck around and say go. These dudes was in I formation. Like, you know when you play in the street, like, you don't ever go in the center. It's always, like, shotgun snaps and shit. No, they ain't make up plays. These dudes had plays ready. They This was like, they, we was like they scrimmage. They didn't make up plays. Motherfuckers really was like, I write 35 blue blast on four. Swear to God. This is one of those games where I went from linebacker to after a couple plays, they're like, oh, you got to play D-tackle. <laughs> It was one of them games. Was had me. They had me in in one technique. Try get try two gap. <laughs> bro, no. These dudes was no fucking joke, bro. No, they was no. They was no joke. They was like a real like semi pro team. I never got hit so hard in my life. Dude hit me with the Heinz Ward crackback block. That shit hurt, but I got up again. Uh, we scored one time. I forget how the fuck we scored. I forget how we scored, bro. No, them dudes had they all had the under armors. All the full under armor. They had, no, it was like it was like a fumble or some I, I forget what it was, but I was running after that. Cause I was like the D tackle or the DN. I came around the edge, you know, swim move crazy like that. Swim move was nasty. Came around the edge. And they did like a screen to the other side. So I'm running from one side all the way to the other. Here it comes. And no lie. There was a fucking dude. This is no exaggeration. Their like left tackle had a cigarette. And he put that bitch on the ground before, in between uh, during the play. I swear to God. No lie. This dude was insane. He had a cigarette. <laughs> I swear to God, dude. He smoked a cigarette and put it on the ground like in between his, his legs in the play. 
That's how you know nobody was moving him. Nobody, and this dude, you would run the play, and then when the play was over, he went back out of a cigarette. Swear to God. Dude, I never saw nothing like it. Long story short, I've never seen my boys quit so fast. I'll be honest, we didn't have the manpower to keep up with them. You know what I'm saying? We really didn't. My man D-Live, thank you, buddy. I appreciate it. Nah, dude. That shit was crash. That shit was it. Yo, you know Lil Giants when he said intimidation? When dude had a cigarette and put that... Oh, shit. I was like, oh, damn. <laughs> Yo, I was scared as shit. But... I remember we scored, right? And then we did a kickoff. Because... Let me tell you, us trying to try cover a kick against these fuckers, this dude had the easiest return of his life. D-Live, no doubt, man. But yeah, we lost that game. I think, that, I want to say it was the last time we ever played football. I want to say it was the last time we ever played football. We stayed on the street after that. We ain't go nowhere near the park. We stayed right on the street. All right, so Battle 5. So, like I said, uh, the leaderboards are fun. This is a three-week leaderboard, and, and it's not three weeks. It's three weekends. It's th it's six, what, eight-hour time period or seven-hour time periods. So, six times seven is, chat, because you guys are so smart, is, what, 42? Yes, 42, right? 42 hours of Madden. Who can have the best record in 42 hours? Uh, now, max, how many games, how many games max would 42 hours be? Like 45, 45 games maybe? 45 to 50 is probably max. Yeah. I feel like you you I feel like you don't need to qualify. How many people qualify again? Is it two hundred and fifty six people again? Sixty is a lot. You would have to be like two hundred and thirty two people. I think to qualify me, uh I think you could go ten and two and probably qualify for real. Um yeah. Uh, but to get top, to get the top eight or the buy or whatever, yeah, you got to play every day. So that's cooked. And I feel like that's how it should be. You know, do I like the three weekends better than the one weekend? I don't know. Is three weekends better than one weekend? What do you guys think? Do you like the one weekend? Or you like three weekends? You know, I'm kind of liking, I, I'm listen, I've always been a leaderboard guy. Um, so, I feel like if it's this stretched out, it should just be every day. Pause. Relax. That sounded crazy. Cole really got popped, huh? Damn. Pops, what's up, man? Let's be real. Either way, the the whole battle five process is it's a dub. Would I have stayed? Absolutely, Benny. Yeah, if it was one weekend, yeah, I would have stayed. You know, and 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 they gave us more than enough, like heads up on when the weekend was. You know, we knew about this for what, um, at least a month, at least. So long as they don't spring it up, like if you want to play professional Madden, if you want to compete, and you you should be able to take one month off, one weekend off, if there's only one weekend for real. My man, Europe with the gifted. Trouble was different. It was different pretense. It was a different situation. Who's in the world? I don't know. I don't know who's good. 
I'm not Tim Kirch and D Live. Uh, the Dodgers and the <sighs> who's good in the AL? Yankees and Red Sox not that good. Are the Rays real? The Rays are ass. I'll never believe in the Rays. Have the Rays ever won the World Series? Houston Rays? Okay. Are the White Sox in the playoffs? Peter Gammons. Never know. I don't believe in the Rays. They don't got that power, bro. White Sox versus Astros. And the winner of this game plays uh, plays the Rays. Is that how it works? Nice, 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 nice. I don't know. I'm an old school Yankees. Give me Yankees, Red Sox. I'd watch this shit any, any day of the week. Right, boys? I don't know. I'm a casual. I think it's important in life to be hardcore or some shit than casual or some other stuff, right? I think that's important. So I know what it's like to be a casual and be hardcore. You know, I feel like you need that good balance, right? All or nothing, you know, like... Ragusa, there he is with a check mark, a legend in the streets. Yeah. I'm not a casual NHL. I'm not I I'm I'm a definitely a casual I'm not a casual hockey guy. I'm like a Yeah, you can't be hardcore. You can't know everything, bro. Somebody, let me tell you something. Somebody that comes off like they know everything, that person really don't know nothing. You know what I'm saying? Because it's impossible. All right, so Battlefy is a dub. I'll be honest. The MCS so far, massive W so far. Massive W. Uh, I would say 10 out of 10 so far. Uh, we are, what, a month and a half into the game. Uh, we are into the second tournament. Got to be a massive W. Massive W. See, I'm not a double limb. This is how I feel about double limb. I don't give a shit. Just tell me what it is or I'll play, for real. I've never been a double limb guy, though. I don't know. Maybe I'm a bot. I don't know. I'm not a second chance type of guy. I don't know. It's something to be said about the guy that gets shit done when it matters. You know, let's get it done. Pressure's on everybody. Let's get it done. You know. Yeah, but. Who knows? But like I said, nobody's going to complain. I don't want nothing to complain. Clubs suck, Benny. The best thing they ever did was get rid of clubs. That boy. There he is. 13 months. Winner go home. Nut up or shut up. That's how I've always felt that way, you know. I feel like... And I feel like the people that want... It's double them or the ones that want a second chance. Fuck a second chance, bro. I don't know if the I don't know if the NFL would ever back Madden. <clears throat> Dude. Madden has its limitations as an esport, it always will. You know? So I and the amount of other esports that the NFL could get into is astronomical, you know? But they're starting to click back up, for real, for real. You know, we got complexity. We got X set. I don't know what else we got, but we got a couple, couple people out here, you know. I 
I would put fourth place in, in, in the Lions Club in my bio. Why not? That's what I'm saying, bro. You can't knock accomplishments. Accomplishments are good, man. A hundred thieves. I just feel like, and as somebody that my dream is to have an esports organization, you know, have a group, uh, that's one of my dreams, right? It's hard to see Madden being valuable, you know? Like, how? You know, it's hard for me to see that. But if they keep this, this MCS year up, it's going to get better. It's going to get tough. Mythic Marble, 35 months. Perfect GOAT. This is a good format. Yep, this is a good format. It's a good one. It's been a dub. It's been a dub ski. All right. Come on, you little theme teamers. Let's talk about theme teamers. I'll be real. I'll be honest with you. I'm a Madden. I'm a football fan. I'm an NFL fan. I'm a fan boy. I'm everything you guys are. Absolute. I'm a fan, right? I'm a fan of Champ Bailey, right? I'm a fan of Jerry Rice. I'm a fan of who else? Brandon Marshall. I'm a fan of Ladanian Tomlinson. Big Ed Reed fan. I'm a football. I'm Peyton Manning through the roof. Larry Fitzgerald. And I don't know how to start. I I I don't. I think theme teams are a W. I do. I do. I think they're really cool. When without salary cap, they're like the only way to like really build a team. You know. But I do feel like looking at the team. Like I'm stuck. Like this is my team, man. This is it. You know what I'm saying? And then people are and then people are like, they gotta stop showing the Raiders. Well, what, what can they there's the same players? I mean, dude, Madden puts a lot of goddamn players in the game. Let's I, I there's a lot of players. It's hard for me to really think of players that are missing from the game. And if there are, I mean it's very few far in between. Somebody go yard for the for the Yanks? Okay. The Yankees are back. Rizzo. No, for real, it's like... Yes, theme teams are not expensive. Let's let's reel that in. I heard people talking that theme teams cost money. It's a way... It doesn't cost money, bro. You should have to pick a theme team. Yeah, but even if they make, like, say I'm an Eagles fan, even if they put all the best Eagles cards out, the Raiders are still going to be the best. Or the Niners. The Niners have, they can fight with them. But if they put all the best, if they put all the best Raiders, if they put every player in NFL history, the Raiders are going to win. Like, yeah, I think, I think, I think this right now is probably the most similar mutt teams I've ever been. Right now. I don't know if you guys agree or disagree with that. I, I could tell you that most players probably have the same one. Everybody has the same 50 players, right? So your only difference is going to be in, in like 13 players, maybe. Then you're going to have like a Reggie Bush or a Deuce Staley. And it's like, do you know?
I know last year I had the Raiders. I had the Raiders for the longest last year. Everybody had the Niners. I had the Raiders shit forever, right? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what they could do, man. Do I want them to get rid of speed? I want everything to get rid of speed. Yeah, I want all that shit gone. But it's pretty fucking cool, though, you know? It's just the Raiders just have a good team, dude. They just do. Like, what can you say? But you can only do so much make other teams work. Jehovah, I'll be honest. I don't want to say speed is overrated, but... <sighs> Defensively, I don't think it's OD important. I really don't. Like, defensively, I'm not... I need the fastest player everywhere. I really don't need that. Um, Offensively, it helps, for sure. You know, but I'm not a speed whore on defense, really. I would honestly tell you I'd rather have faster front seven like that. I'm, I care more about that chasing the quarterback. Yeah, God. Oh, excuse me. I swear, when I get on here and just talk nonstop, it's like I lose oxygen to my brain. And I just, like, got to yawn. Bro, I could qualify with this no money spent team for this tournament. I, 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 I bet that on everything I love. I could do that. I couldn't win shit, but I could qualify. I haven't really used the stork. I got him though. My team, my team is gas right now. It's gas. We'll play some after the after uh, after the potty. I'm signed up on my main account. I don't. I don't really want to. I want to qualify and have a good position. Like the fuck. I'm not. I'm not doing a social experiment to play with the no money spent account. I'm not doing the social experiment. If y'all haven't picked up that I could play with the no money spent team by now, you haven't been watching. Seriously. You haven't been watching. Like, what more do I got to do for y'all? When, when, like, bro, I have a hard enough time winning with the good team. I thought that Sertain card was ass. I think I watched Skimbo with Sertain. And I was watching somebody else have Sertain. I thought he was ass. Up. So Tane is the Broncos guy. I think Haynes is ass too. I think they all suck. I'll be honest. I think they all suck. I think Ed Reed is the best. <laughs> and I thought Badger was the It's crazy. Like Badger, like. I don't even know what other card I thought. You know who I thought was pretty solid was Trufant. I thought Trufant was better than Haynes. I thought Haynes was. Oh, shit. Bro, if this dude, Giancarlo Stanton, doesn't get doubles on these. Bro, who is running out of the box? Dude got gun. Yo, this dude, Juan Carlos Stanton, has missed two home runs by five feet. But both of them, he stared at him, and he could get the second easily.
Ain't that his name, Juan Carlos? Who was that fat ass dude running, bro? <laughs> Uh, who said, like, my coaching videos with ScoMo? Who said that, Graf? Is that, is that you or is that Copy Pasta? Is ScoMo getting big-headed? Does anybody else get that vibe from ScoMo? He's getting big-headed? His real name is not Mike. It's fucking Giancarlo. I thought he was a regular-ass Mike. When he played with the Marlins against the Phillies, I thought he was Mike. I was like, damn, a new American baseball player for me to root for. I was hype when I thought he was Mike. <laughs> Then I heard him talk. Damn, Scomo is feeling. Damn, Scomo feeling himself now. I mean, I feel like all right. You had one out. You could have had first and third with Rizzo up. Or Gallo. Who was this Gallo? I think you got maybe hold him there. Demu. Apparently Demu got pounded. He hit me up and said, I need more help. So we'll probably stream tomorrow night. I'll help him out a little bit. Tomorrow night we'll go again. We'll see. I can't lie. I feel like we're giving out way too many free ebooks right now. Gallo is ass now. Damn, Skomo's in a cold stretch? Hold up, hold up. What's going on, bro? I go away for two days and shit is happening? Like, what is up? Skomo, Skomo's on a streak? He, he's, he's plummeting down to earth? I can't lie. Xerxes is ducking Skomo. What's happening? Xerxes is ducking. That's what's happening. I never thought I would see that day where, you know, Xerxes was ducking, but. And well, that was last year. It's a new year. You can't bring up old shit. You know what I'm saying? You can't bring up old shit here, boys. The spreader man with four months. Let's go. My man TJ with the gifted. Let's go. My man Tim. Tim is in the building too with 22 years. Let's go. Mythic Marvel as well. Olive Garden Cook. My man TJ with another gifted. Let's go, man. Who work at Olive Garden? TJ with another. Go crazy, King. YouTube bot wars is the next bot wars a YouTube a YouTube gauntlet YouTubers are Hollywood bro they weren't playing bot wars I told y'all throne is the best YouTuber Dennis CC then everybody else sucks I'll be honest Oh, my man, Black Rain. It's my guy. The Skomo's tough now, man. Skomo beat... Actually, Maze done put down bugs. 
Bulls got put down by Maze and Fox in the same week. I was like, oh, shit. My man wet with the gifted, man. Jedi. Civil. Civil's pretty probably pretty solid. Civil's probably he's probably he's probably up there with CC for real for real. He's pretty close. I asked Fox, my man Jedi would I asked Fox last year to be on Bot Wars. Bugs let gut fox. Let me tell you something, Reem. Don't nobody let nobody win Madden games. That don't happen. Except the only time it is is when I let people win like their Super Bowl when they're a shitter. That's about it. I never count Bugs out. Bugs done made me better than all my Madden friends. For real, for real. Boom. Boom. Bills versus everybody. Damn. Bills versus everybody. Mallow. Damn. I mean, he's, he's pretty, pretty weirdo. I like 34 and I like Madden too. I spent 5k this year. I make 150k a year, but I'm passing on that shit going forward. 2k has the infrastructure. Damn. George Greenbean. Whoa. George Greenbean. I mean, George. My man TJ with three months. Let's go. <laughs> George brings it. What do y'all be doing? Like, y'all really be bored, bro. Damn, Diesel got him. Damn, 43rd. Diesel got you. Bald is a condition? Is this how we talk? I don't know if it's a condition. Ain't no way. It ain't no way that's really how we going now, boys. It ain't no way. Like, who are these people, bro? Lil Peen. Lil Peen. Ad blocker. Anybody with ad blocker gets instantly banned. Instantly banned with ad blocker. Nacho. I don't know what we did with Nacho. I'll be honest, boys. Unbanny's probably been, they probably been falling off, bro. 
I'm Banny's been kind. They've been kind of weak. Lil Peen, it was kind of weak. That's what I'm saying. They've been kind. Of, I. Dragon was not banned this week. He was not banned. He was not banned. All right. So we got Battle Fies a dub. MCS is rolling right now. Super dubs, firm handshakes all around. Theme teams. It's just made my life on Mutt kind of boring. That's just how it feels. It's like it's just boring, man. Wait till new zombies come out. We're gonna glitch. We're gonna glitch them again. Make them think we have level four hundred. You know. I hate strategy cards. I like theme team more than strategy card. I hate the jersey thing. Now I don't know. I I, I still have fifty fifty Raiders and I still have the Eagles jersey. So. The visual tab has to happen. Yeah. I heard Battlefield is 3 a.m. Do I know anything about Battlefield? Do I play Battlefield? My man Oreo with 50 months. Check out his badge. Looking crazy. Looking. Look, he's kind of kind of icy in the chat. Kind That badge is kind of icy. The beta. I don't know. But it, we do have EA Play. Uh, so it is for free if you have EA. We all have EA Play. I don't know if you guys canceled it already, but we all have that. So I'm hearing it's free already with that. So we'll see. 3 a.m. though. I'm definitely not going to be up at 3 a.m. That lifestyle for me is weekend only now, boys. Weekday, no way I'm up at 3 a.m. Is that bad? Am I washed? Is that what they say? I don't know. My oh, man, Dust. Yeah, the Ra that's nothing they could do. If they have theme teams, the Raiders are going to be good. They got the best players. Just think. Randy Moss. Who else, boy? Randy Moss, Ronnie Lott, Taylor Mays, Namdi. Bunch more, bro. Them boys, no doubt, buddy. Bo Jackson. I don't really ever get Bo Jackson. The Woodsons. Man, guys, you canceled your sub. Like, you can... You can no longer ridicule anything by canceling your sub. No, you should not stay up for a 6 a.m. practice. That's six hours away. Get some sleep, dude. You know? Marcel Reese. Yep. Hey, hey, baby. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. It is eight hours. There it is. My day was great. We woke up at 7 or 6. And we've been up. We got a little half hour nap. Now I'm pounding coffee. But this was the Nina Podcast, episode 146. Um, don't play football with people that smoke cigarettes in between the play. Don't do that. I'm telling you, they, if they're smoking a cigarette and they're playing O-line, just walk off the field. I'll tell you that now. Theme teams are a dub, but they're kind of boring. Uh, bad, the MCS is popping. Those are, those are our conclusions, boys. But I will, uh, like I said, this is 146. We're closing on episode 150. Kind of cracked. Episode 335 will be super cracked. This was episode 146.